So here we go, trying to check some of the conductive glue stuff that I did yesterday. This is the LED stuck to two copper strips. Um, this has now been down for probably uh, 18 hours. So it's uh, had all of last night. I did. I was busy last night and couldn't do anything else with it. But uh, trying to get a reasonable amount of light and get reasonably close and keep it all in focus. Not easy. Cheap camera. Um, as you can see, it's pulling quite, I'm tugging at it reasonably hard, it's lifting the paper that the copper tape is stuck to quite happily. Hasn't broken away. Um, so, how much pressure will it take? Pull it back a little bit. It is actually surprisingly strong. It's ripped the paper before it's broken the contact. So, I'm reasonably impressed with that. But as I say, it has had a long time to sit and dry. The two components I stuck together yesterday, but I just literally crossing them over. Oh, get out of that damn way now. That's going to be a bigger workbench. Here was the resistor and LED that I stuck together. And again, it's been left same sort of time pretty good resistance on that. Um, let's see if we can get something that resembles a bit of pressure. Right, here we go. It doesn't really, they were at right angles with no extra thing. Um, it did sort of stand a reason amount of pushing but not brilliant. You can see it's just snapped off. So, wouldn't say that's the best idea. Again, a uh, bit of over testing. Put the camera down while I Pull the tape off the dropper I did. God. And again, as you probably saw as soon as the tape was off, the dropper just broke away. So, not brilliant stuff. Um, it'll do a job. I think it's a question of using the right components and providing they're uh, stuck together properly in the first place. It'll be okay.